In this video, we will solve a problem of Gauss's law in the case of plane asymmetry. So let's say that we have a plane. Let it be a sheet and it has a uniform surface charge density of sigma. Let us make use of positive charges. So uniform positive charge density of sigma and we are asked to find the electric field at some point P. Let's say over here. Then to solve this, we can make use of Gaussian pillbox. That is, we will draw a box passing through this point P. So it will be like this. Let the area of this cross section be A. And this passes through the plane. And it goes out through the other surface, through the surface. And over here, again we have the same area of cross section A. And this distance and this distance is same. Let us call that S. Now, let us first write down Gauss's law. It is closed surface integral of electric field dot dA equal to the charge enclosed divided by epsilon naught. So what will be a charge enclosed in this case? The charge enclosed will be equal to the surface charge density times this area which is enclosed by a Gaussian surface. This area is nothing but the area of the cross section A. So the charge enclosed will be equal to sigma times A. Now, the electric field has to point. Now the electric field goes along this direction. That is perpendicular or normal to the sheet. Since we know that the surface charge density sigma is uniform. If the electric field for some reason, let's say, pointed in this direction. Let's say the electric field pointed in this direction. Then the positive charges will move along the direction of the electric field. And hence, there will be more positive charges in this direction over here than they are over here. So the surface charge density won't be uniform anymore. So that is why the electric field has to point in this direction, that is, along the normal unit vector n. So for these surfaces, the electric field and the area vector dA are perpendicular to each other, so their dot product will be zero. But for our cross sections, that is, these two surfaces over here, the electric field and the dA vector point in the same direction. So the dot product will be nothing but the magnitude of the electric field times the magnitude of the area and the cosine of zero is just one. So finally, we will get Gauss's law as close integral of magnitude of the electric field times the area dA which is equal to sigma A which was a charge enclosed divided by epsilon naught. And since the electric field is constant, we can take it outside. So it becomes E times the surface integral of dA sigma A divided by epsilon naught. Now what is the surface integral of dA? It will be just the area of this cross section which is A plus the area of this cross section which is A again. So we will get E times 2A equal to sigma A divided by epsilon naught. Or we will get the electric field as sigma 
divided by 2 epsilon naught. And since it is perpendicular, that is along the normal unit vector n, we can convert this into a vector equation. So the electric field for plane sheet of charge carrying a uniform charge density of sigma will be will be equal to sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught and it will be along the perpendicular direction to the plane. 